Visualization The Square Root At math.d8data.io, there's an app named Regular Polygon Root. To use this app, we enter a root and a number of sides. The name Square Root is perfectly appropriate. It does, however, quite commonly, cause a student to ask, if there is a square root, then is there a triangular root also? Several years ago, this is exactly the question I wondered for myself. Since that time, a lot of great YouTube videos have been made about this subject. I don't intend for this to be one of them. However, I did want to use it to introduce my love of visualization. I'm a firm believer that the best math is the math that you can see. So back to square roots. We can see here, because of this visualization, that there actually is a connection between the square root as computed with a square and the square root computed with a triangle. We do this with the triangle in the same way we do with the square. We take a triangle and we subdivide its side into a number of smaller triangles of the same proportion. We fill the triangle with this regular unit. And finally, we count how many there are. And look at that. It's the same number. Granted, the area is different, but the quantity is the same. This is true for any root. It is also true for any number of sides. That's why I call this app the regular polygon root, because that might be a more descriptive and accurate name than square root, when dealing with quantity at least. In this case, the question of whether or not a triangular root existed turns out to be true, it does. Although it's slightly disappointing that it's exactly the same thing as the square root. In any event, curiosity always pays. In the next video, we'll explore another common visualization, that of the quadratic formula.